Friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're doing a little something with fish. There's been a lot of requests for recipes with fish. So today, your Wicked Chef is bringing you, and I've got some little snappers all seasoned up there. We're going to go through that in a second. We're going to be frying these, a shallow fry, like how my mom taught me to do it down in the Caribbean. Boy, you're going to love this recipe. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Let's get I've got two pounds of snapper here. The, uh, the guy at the fish market was kind enough to scale it, remove all the, the fins and stuff like that. And it's nice and clean on the inside. The eyes are nice and bright, which tells me these are fairly fresh. Um, I've washed them in uh, the juice of one lime, or you can use the juice of one lemon. Then I, I, I squeeze a lemon juice on there, rinse it off with cool water, and I drain it dry. So all I'm going to do now is just, because these are small, these are not really big, I'm just going to hit them one cut down the belly, just to open up a little wound like that. And again on the other side. And all that's going to do is to allow the marinade, the seasoning we're going to season these bad boys with, to really penetrate and get in there and do all kind of lovely things. So that's about it there. Now what we've got to do is season these up and allow them to marinate for about half an hour. So up first I've got some fresh ground black pepper. And we're going to mix this up. So no worries if you think it's going to be on one side only. It is going to get tossed in here. So about a quarter teaspoon of that. I've got a quarter teaspoon of Madras curry, curry powder. It's a blend from the Caribbean. I love using my Caribbean spices. Half of a small onion diced very finely. I've got two cloves of garlic which has been crushed. And I'm just gonna dump all of that in there. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Pepper sauce. This is my mom's hot sauce, homemade stuff. I'm not using scotch bonnet pepper today, but the scotch bonnet pepper is in there. This is about half of a teaspoon. You can certainly cut back on that. You can use any sort of hot sauce that you like. Caribbean style pepper sauce is boss. So in goes there. Now remember you can use fresh chopped up and chop it very finely. Scotch bonnet peppers as well. That's going to be amazing in this dish. And finally, I've got here some Caribbean style green seasoning. One teaspoon of that. All I have to do now is go ahead using my hands and I'm going to work this all the way, all in the cavity, all over in here. By the way, the recipe for that Caribbean green seasoning, in the description of this video below, I'm going to have the link for that so you'll know how to make it. You can certainly wear gloves for this point because remember we're playing with that uh, pepper sauce, that thing is lethal. So all I'm going to do first of all is mix that up a little bit and then start coating the outside of the fish with it. Try to get some all inside the cracks and all that into the cut that we made. All that onion and everything. Now most of that onion and the remaining seasoning I'm just gonna work all inside this fish here. It's all kind of beautiful flavors, boy. And there we go. These bad boys are all seasoned up and ready to go to the dance, Lordy. I'm gonna cover that up and let that marinate for about half an hour at least. In a deep saucepan here, I've got about three cups of vegetable oil heating. Um, it's oil that I've used before, so you may see a little bit of fragments in there, but that is cool. Waste not, want not. Over here, I've got, I'm not sure how good the lighting is, but I've got one uh, quarter, one half cup of all-purpose flour. So just your plain ordinary flour in a plate here. And we've got those three fish seasoned up and ready to go. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the fish and then dust it in the flour here and then into the hot oil. What you may wanna also do is also have some paper towels um, handy to soak up any of the extra oil. I'm just gonna grab one of these fish and most of the marinade is still on there. That is cool. We don't really want to get rid of that and all we're gonna do is roll it in this flour. Give them a nice coat of flour. That's gonna give you a lovely color and skin. 
then you just dust it out a little bit and that bad boy is ready to go into the hot oil so again all you're doing is pretty much rolling it in the flour one more time and dust off the extra flour and those are all ready for the hot oil the oil is nice and hot now so <clears throat> I have a pretty wide pan here so all three fish will fit in there so I'm just going to gently place them down it's been going now for about five minutes or so on the first side that we put it on so all I'm going to do is flip them over to the other side and look at that beautiful color that we got there the little cuts that we made, all that seasoning is inside there. Boy oh boy, this is going to be nice. Now remember if you're using bigger fish, I have three smaller fish there. If you're using bigger ones, you may need to allow it to cook a little bit longer. It's been going out for about 10-11 minutes. These are cooked all the way through. Some of you may think I overcooked it, but I want that nice, lovely, crispy skin on the outside. So, I mean, they say you can cook it even more if you want it more crispy. I love it the way it is here. So all I'm gonna do is, I have my paper towels in a little basket here. I'm gonna fish these out and allow them to drain. Just gonna turn the heat off under my stove. And by the way, guys, I cook this on a medium high heat to maintain the temperature of the oil. So there we go. The deep oil, pan fried, seasoned Caribbean snappers. You're gonna love it. Wish you guys could smell what's going on here. It is wicked. Dear friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. The fish turned out amazing. The scent in the kitchen, <laughs> I mean to say the kids won't like it. It's gonna smell like fried fish. You may need to air out the house. But thanks for joining me here. If you're interested in this recipe and many more recipes, check out my book, CaribbeanPod.com slash book. Remember to subscribe down below to the channel. All the latest recipes are gonna be sent to you. And these are the bad boys. They've been cooling now for a couple minutes and they're ready to go. Nice crispy skin. Let me just take a, look how nice and flaky. Hmm, camera's not even on it, boy. I need an assistant, we? Nice and flaky. Look at that steam coming out of there. Mmm, 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 mmm. I shouldn't be eating with my mouth full, but guys, this thing is wicked. Couple things I forgot to mention, guys. When working with small fish like this, that hasn't been filleted. Remember, be prepared for tiny bones, so be careful if you're gonna be feeding this to kids. This fish here is good on its own. If you wanna hit them a little bit of lemon juice, you're good to go. All the ingredients that I use here today, in the bottom down there, in the description, all the ingredients will be listed on there, or visit Caribbean Pot, let me fix my glasses, CaribbeanPot.com for the full recipe. Have a great day.